Hey guys, I'm back with another video and if you can't tell by me constantly touching my hair, this is going to be a look on my hair. Um, it's going to be another wash and go part of my wash and go series. I'm pretty much going to be doing these um, constantly as I get new products. So it's an ongoing series is my wash and go series and I kind of, I want to say this is probably in the top five um as far as like products that i like to use i actually really like this one i've been seeing like a lot i've seen lots of people do this combo of products and i'm going to be sharing today which you guys will see throughout the video what i use i've been seeing this product and i loved how everyone else has come out i decided i would try it out on my hair see if i like it. and I actually really like it my hair feels super super soft um my curls are pretty defined a little frizzy but you know Y'all yeah, know I love me a good frizzy hair, um, but I really, really like this look. I think as as I start separating um, these chunkier parts more, I like it even more. And this is day one, um, and I feel like it's it's a lot of volume for me for day one, so I do like that concept of it. Um, I really, really like it. I know you guys are going to ask about my makeup. I did not record, record a tutorial on this because I feel like I've done looks like this before on my channel, so I didn't film it. Um, um, for my lips, I know you guys are going to ask because that's kind of like my favorite thing right now. I use a very, very dark lip liner. This, I don't even think, is a brand that you can even get anymore. I've got this year to go. It's called Bleaker Dyke. Um, it's their chocolate lip contour. Actually, it says eyeliner. Oh, that's the eyeliner. I use it on my lips, whatever. It's a, a very dark chocolate um, liner, and then I applied on top my Juvia's Place liquid lipstick and soil um, to get this shade because I kind of wanted to tie it into the pants that I have on to like the little transition shade that I have going on. So, yeah. But this video was not about the makeup, but I wanted to mention it because I know a lot of you guys sometimes ask when I have, you know, my makeup like full on. Like this is a full on B. I don't always do this literally i do not always do this that as well but this video is about this gorgeous hair that i'm solely feeling let me do like a real quick 360. yeah so that's my hair i absolutely love it so i hope you guys enjoy this video um thank you so much for stopping into my channel and i will see you guys next time hi oh and wait before you even before I even get to the tutorial, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload if you love natural hair videos. Please do that. It really helps out my channel. Also check out the links in the description box. That also helps support the channel. So yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, y'all can get to the video. Okay, so I'm starting right off with freshly washed hair. The only thing that I have in my hair right now is a leave-in conditioner, and it's the As I Am leave-in conditioner. Um, this is the last section that I have to do. I've already completed the other three sections. that front section into about four sections I'm gonna do like really small sections at a time and first I'm gonna go in with that double buttercream I really really like this double buttercream it is super moisturizing, moisturizing super hydrating um, I really want to try this out again on a twist out or a braid out um, once the kind of uh, warm, warmer months start hitting because you guys know I don't wear my hair out in the winter but I'm definitely gonna come back and do another video using this on a braid out or a twist up because I actually loved the way it felt and I definitely think it will work great with a um, braid out or twist out next on top of that I went in with the as I am curling jelly and that's what you guys saw me smoothing out and applying it to my hair and I just I just break it through um, and just go over my entire head and then I just repeat that all over this section.
So after I apply all of the product, I let my hair completely air dry before I band my hair in the evening. And I do air dry. I didn't have a hooded dryer at this point. I do have one now, so you guys will see that in the future. Or not see it, but I will definitely be trying my wash and goes with the hooded dryer in the future. Um, but I do usually let it air dry and then I band my hair. And this is the next day after my hair is completely dry and I just take out the bands very carefully. I don't think I put any oil on my hands yet, um, but I will put some oil on my hands before I start fluffing it out. pretty decent wash day. I really really liked how it came out um, or wash and go I should say. It was a pretty good wash and go. Definitely a lot of moisture. Um, definitely going to come back and try it out again. Um, I, I go in with the um, Uni Argan Oil just to help fluff up my hair so there's not too much um, frizz. Um, unfortunately on this day there was a lot of humidity. Um, this was filmed back in the summertime like in August. Um, and it was just a lot of humidity, so by the end of the day, it was just a puff. <laughs> um, but um, I liked how this came out. I loved how my hair felt. It was super soft. Um, I can't wait for my undercut to grow out, though, because, like, I'm kind of missing that volume in the back. Um, that's one thing. I have to do a lot of picking if I want, like, that real high volume, like, in that, that back area. But my front still looks pretty, so it looks nice. Um, other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know some other videos that you guys want to see from me in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it. Bye!